Taurus. Welcome to your WLC Weekly Love Connections Reading. This will be for those of you who are wanting to get insights with regards to your love connections. Especially if you're thinking about someone, you have someone in mind, or you just want to know their current feelings towards you. Let's see Taurus in love. What do we have for Taurus in love? Taurus in love. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter in love. First card out. Oops, Seven of Swords. <laughs> the Ten of Cups. Oh, wow. Who is this? The Emperor. The Hermit. Four of Swords. The Devil. The Empress. The Queen of Wands. The Eight of Pentacles. The Sun. The Eight of Wands. Okay. It's good. Temperance. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Knight of Pentacles. All right. Taurus, I see you taking things slow, which is a good thing. You're taking things step by step. You're being cautious on uh, what you do, what you say, what you put out there yeah what you put out there to the world to your friends to your family and especially to the person that you have in mind right now I feel like a part of you is wanting um, wanting to have some solid grounding with this person it could be a solid type of relationship that you're wanting but you're not in a hurry yeah you're not in a hurry you're taking your time and each time I feel like you savor every moment you spend with this person. For some of you, I do see that you are probably dancing at night. Yeah, I don't know. Are you dancing while you're standing or or lying down? <laughs> I don't know what type of dance you're doing, Taurus, but it's it's all good. <laughs> it's all good here. I feel like you're taking some time to get to know this person or to to spend some time with this person. Basically, you're not really in a rush. Yeah, you're not in a rush. Um. And I feel like if, if you are with this person but things are not clear or that there's no label, you don't know who you are to them and who they are to you, you know that sort of thing where there's some, a big part of it is filled with uncertainty about what type of relationship you're in with them. And and for those of you who may have been with this person in and out, coming back and forth in your life, you know, that sense, I feel like you're not really um, on an active pursuit yeah, towards them. It's more like you taking your own steps carefully, slowly, carefully, but surely, yeah, and for some of you, you're spending this time now healing, yeah, taking your time to do the things that you want to do, um, trying to avoid conflicts, avoid um, pressure, yeah. and you're you're just hopeful that every single day when you wake up each day when the sun rises, you want to make sure that you spend it fully, yeah? you spend uh, you enjoy the daylight fully without having to really worry about all the other cares in life now let's talk about this person I feel like the person that you have here that I could see this could be a fire sign or a Capricorn yeah could be a fire sign um, strongly Aries for some Aries and Sagittarius but um, I, I see that this person is um, is a, is more of a strong-willed type of person. Yeah, you can't push this person around. 
um, they may have shown you too that they were pretty much interested in having a relationship, a serious type of relationship with you in the past. Yeah. Or when you met this person, you can see that, well, this is a good potential because this person seems to have everything in place in their life. They got their shit together. Um, they can pay their own rent or they have their own place to stay. They have a job and all these things. So they are pretty much in a good um, standing, so to speak, right? You can see that. And I feel like this person sort of shown you that they can be a match for you yeah or for some this is a person who's just matching your energy so if in a day when you show them that you are happy you're open you're light-hearted and all they also match the same thing but the underlying note that I feel is that it seems like both of you are wanting the same thing both of you are wanting some sort of relationship a solid grounding with one another but in this reading, coming into this reading, I feel like um, in the outside, this person can feel confident. But deep inside, I feel like this person has a lot of insecurities. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of insecurities about this person. Likely so. Um, this person may have uh, experiences back then with their ex, with their past relationship where they have been in toxic type of relationship or that they have been cheated on. Or for some of you, um, whatever this person have experienced in their past relationship, this person has really been um, burnt or a part of them has been damaged because of, of that relationship. So perhaps after a divorce or after has been after they have been in long term relationships with other with their ex, if they have been cheated on, the pain, um, the scars are still there. And even if this person would look um, confident, deep down, you can still see or you can still feel that there is that hurt little girl or hurt little boy deep, deep inside. yeah. And they're not really opening up much in terms of what has happened in the past for them. yeah. They just want to deal it on their own. You, you may or you can feel it. You can feel that there's something wrong here, post-traumatic, whatever. You can feel it. Sometimes you may even ask this person out about you know, you want to know more about it, but they are not really open to talk about it. Yeah. I just see that, um, like I said, there is that confident stance of this person and their current feelings towards you is that they are showing you what they've got, everything that they've got right now. So if you can feel, Taurus, that this person is interested in you, if there is some form of consistency in the way they communicate, they contact you and... Um, you know, just keep in touch with you in a cons consistent level, that plainly shows that they still want it or they still want to be with you. They want to, you know, there is that sense that they want to pursue this with you. And you would know because it will, it will not take time. Um, for some readings, I would say that, yeah, this person is taking some time to really reach out. But in this case, this person is pretty much um, like a, a quick doer basically not not that you know not that a person is or not that this person is just good for quickies and all I'm not saying that it could be but it's more like if this person wants you you will see it right away this person will show you directly and quickly what their intentions are you can see it through their actions so they believe in their actions rather than their words especially for this person it's more like what they do rather than what they say. Definitely, this person may have the tendency to lie. I see that here too. Because that confidence, you know, the external confidence can only be a facade or can only be, you know, that person's ego because they don't want to be hurt once again. Yeah, They want to pursue you. They want to pursue this with you. And I feel like they're growing some form of love or feelings towards you. And soon enough, you will see in the next, I don't know, for some of you, eight weeks, eight days, 
you will start to see some changes, yeah, some form of consistency or, or that this person will be more communicative towards you. And the longer they continue to do that, or I mean the, the more they continue to do or pursue you, you're actually helping them heal the wounds that um, may have been caused in their past relationship. I'm not saying that you're a rebound because I do feel that this person is starting to fall deeply in love with you. Ultimately, they would want this with you, right? But along the process now of perhaps just being with you, there, this person is still carrying some load of hurt, um, pain, heartbreak. But as you continue to, as you continue with this connection, slowly but surely you will be able to help this person heal i'm not saying that you need to take care of this person's healing they will take care of their own healing but just to, being with you helps this person remove all the negative attachments that they may have had in the past yeah ultimately they want ultimately this person will fall in love with you i see that <laughs> It's beautiful though, and I like that you're taking things slow. You're taking things um, like in an eventual pace, a natural pace, yeah? You're not really in a rush, which is good. Keep it light, keep it easy, yeah? Just relax, nothing crazy, okay? I'm gonna leave it at that and let me know if this resonates in the comment section below, and don't forget to hit like and subscribe. And also don't forget to check out my book in Amazon, Divine Time. It's a mystical tale of finding one true love. Yeah, it's now available in paperback and Kindle version. Um, yeah, get a copy. Each one of you get a copy. And I appreciate your support. And thank you for your continued um, viewings for all my um, videos online. I appreciate you. Bye now.